Hello students, welcome to this lecture series of complex analysis. In today's lecture, we will discuss about singular points and types of singularities. Singular points. If a function fj is not analytic at j equal to j naught, then the j naught is called singular point. Means for singular point, the at that particular point, the function will not be analytic. Okay, for example, example number a, j divided by j minus 7. So here, at j equal to 7, the function is, this function is not analytic. So j equal to 7 is a singular point for this function. What about this? j minus 3 divided by j, j minus 5 into j minus 2. You can say putting these at, at 0, you will get singular points. What about this? Exponential 1 by j minus 2. So this expanded as 1 plus x. x is here 1 upon j minus 2. So this plus 1 upon factorial 2 j minus 2 whole square. So here also at j equal to 2, the j equal to 2 is a singular point. So types of singularity, the first one is isolated singularity. A point j naught is called isolated singular point if number first fz is not analytic at that particular point number second fz is analytic in the deleted neighborhood of z naught what does it mean it means any point z naught deleted neighborhood mean neighborhood minus z naught so fz is analytic at all point except z naught if this scenario exists then the particular point is called then z naught is called isolated singular point in this case the function can be expanded in Lorentz series singular points so these are the example here z upon z minus z upon z minus 7 z equal to 7 in this uh, this case this is a isolated singularity why this is z equal to 7 is isolated because z for z equal to 7 i will i can have a neighborhood in which the function is analytic except at z equal to 7 so z equal to 7 is isolated similarly z equal to 0 z equal to 5 z equal to 2 are isolated for this question here also z equal to 2 is isolated so all are example of isolated singular we will check that what is the non-isolated cot pi by z here z equal to 0 is non-isolated singular why let's see cot pi by z equal to cos pi by z divided by sin pi by z so put denominator equal to 0 so putting sin pi z equal to 0 i will have sin pi z equal to 0 this implies pi z equal to n pi this implies z equal to 1 upon n so n will can have value 1 2 3 4 and so on till infinity all the values if z equal to 1 then this is isolated z equal to 1 upon 2 isolated because we will be able to have a neighborhood around 1 upon 2 where the function is not analytic at 1 upon 2 but at other point the function is analytic z equal to 0 means when n will be very large so we will get z tending to 0 so if we talk about z equal to 0 at the near nearer point you will get the point like suppose i am taking 1 upon this uh, such a big number okay so similarly i will get a cluster over here this number then this number then this number they all will lie uh, very near to this so there will be a cluster around z equal to zero so we will not be able to get any neighborhood in which only z equal to zero lies as a non-analytic point so if we will draw any neighborhood in that neighborhood we will get other than z equal to 0 as the non-analytic point. So z equal to 0 is non-isolated. This is one. The isolated singularity is further divided into different types. Let small a is an isolated singular point. Then the function can be expanded in the form of Lorentz series. Lorentz series expansion, this part you can see that all the powers of z are positive. So z, the power of z are positive means we will get z minus a plus z minus a whole square like that but here you can see that the power of z minus a are negative like that we'll get 1 upon z minus a 
प्लस वन अपॉन जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वेर प्लस एंड सो ऑन सो दिस टाइप ऑफ टर्म्स अलोंग विद दैट बी वन बी टू बी थ्री ओके तो सिमिलरली अलोंग विथ ए वन ए टू एंड ए थ्री सो दिस पार्ट द सेकेंड पार्ट इज नोन एज प्रिंसिपल पार्ट दिस इज बेसिकली नॉन एनालिटिक पार्ट बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर वन अपॉन जेड माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर हेयर सो दिस इज नॉट एनालिटिक नॉन एनालिटिक पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रिंसिपल पार्ट एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज एज वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज एनालिटिक पार्ट ओके बेस्ड ऑन द लॉरेंट सीरीज एक्सपेंशन वी विल क्लासीफाई अदर सिंगुलरिटीज द फर्स्ट वन इज रिमूवेबल सिंगुलरिटी रिमूवेबल सिंगुलरिटी ए प्रिंसिपल पार्ट कंटेन्स नो टर्म ओके हाउ लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल साइन जेड अपॉन जेड सो इफ वील एक्सपेंड दिस सो आई विल गेट वन अपॉन जेड इन टू जेड माइनस जेड क्यूब बाई फैक्टोरियल थ्री प्लस जेड पॉ फाइव अपॉन फैक्टोरियल फाइव माइनस सो ऑन सो आप इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन आई विल गेट वन माइनस जेड स्क्वायर अपॉन फैक्टोरियल थ्री प्लस जेड पॉ फोर अपॉन फैक्टोरियल फाइव माइनस डॉट 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 एंड सो ऑन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट नो नो टर्म्स इन द प्रिंसिपल पार्ट ऑल टर्म्स आर इन द ओनली एनालिटिक पार्ट आर इन्वॉल्व सो बेसिकली दिस फंक्शन इज एनालिटिक आफ्टर एक्सपेंडिंग सो सच टाइप ऑफ सिंगुलरिटीज आर नोन एज रिमूवेबल सिंगुलरिटी नंबर नेक्स्ट इज द पोल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट पोल इफ प्रिंसिपल पार्ट कंटेन्स फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस सेवन हेयर जेड इक्वल टू सेवन इज ए पोल ऑफ ऑर्डर वन और सिंपल पोल यू कैन सी हेयर दैट only one term is involved that is so finite number of terms are involved so this is simple pole here you can see that this is analytic part and this is non analytic part so or you can say principal part in principal part we have two terms but for this perspective at z equal to 3 we have only one part that is 1 upon z minus 3 whole power 4 so z equal to 3 is a pole of order 4 this is called order and in the second part z equal to 1 z equal to 1 is a pole pole of order 5 so this is how we classify them into the pole and removable singularity next the last one is essential singularity if principal part contains infinite number of terms Example, exponential one upon z minus two equal to one plus one upon z minus two plus one upon factorial two into z minus two whole square plus and so on. So you can see here, they all parts are this part and so on contains infinite number of terms and this part is principal part in Lorentz series. So and it contains infinite number of terms. So z equal to two is an essential similar point okay thank you